I have a podcast, Cashing In with TJ Miller, and uh, it's been running for a long time. My uh, friend Cash Levy, it's an interview show, and he's I get it the now. host. It's a cash thing. Yeah, exactly. So Cash Levy, and he has trouble getting um, guests. He's had a tough time getting guests. So I've been the only guest on the show for 237 wow. episodes. Wow. Interesting. So it's been Why? good. It's been a strange. I think people don't like him. Oh, but he's Jesus. very, very funny. And so we've had, but we we have all these things called cash phrases, which are just silly things that we made up, and and they mean something. Like skifting is when you scare somebody by giving them a gift, so they're mad at you but also grateful. Does that make sense? So what would skifting, an example of a scary gift be? It's though? like I hid behind the refrigerator and Kate was uh, oh, oh, okay. And we had recently been broken into, and it was very violent, not against us, but against the refrigerator. Oh. So she was very scared of being near the refrigerator, so I was hiding behind the refrigerator. She came home oh, Jesus, just a couple days about that's after the mean. break and I jumped out. She was just sort of starting to put her keys and everything, and I jumped out, and I said, I bought you an iPad! And she was like, oh, God, oh, thank you. I was oh, talking shit. about 21. Hold on, I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Now she's is happy. Is model? Which angry. Is it? is it? You did. And did you get, oh, did you get Apple Care? You did. All right, you motherfucker. Uh, yeah. The Apple Care, because I so often work in the tub. <laughs> uh, why? We don't have a bathtub. We why, is it, why is it fun to scare people? I, I say that it's good for your heart. I don't think it is. Is it? I think it is. But but I don't know why it's like no one scares people because for to help them physically. So I will ask the um hiccups. What about the hiccups? Yeah, but that isn't the majority of people that people scare people because they find it very funny watching someone get scared. But why yeah. is that funny? What's so funny about someone getting petrified by you surprising them or putting on something that they, you know they find scary? Like this to me that's such a weird thing. This isn't particularly funny. But I think the truth behind it is we laugh when something seems threatening, but it's not. It's a way uh -huh. to communicate with other humans like, it's okay, I'm not hurt. Just like the tickling, yes. you laugh because you're not being hurt, but somebody still has control yeah, over exactly. you. Exactly. And so I think we it's funny to us that somebody has a reaction to something that's not scary at all. But that was one of the great things that Ellen DeGeneres did on her show was scaring the celebrities. Oh yeah, yeah, that so was a funny it segment. Really funny. It just be, wouldn't you though know after a while you go that box right there. I ain't gonna. Yeah, but sometimes I, they'd bring her out from behind. I guess yeah, that uh, that always falls yeah, out. It's fine. No, no, that's don't worry about. It. Scared me. That's your fire. That scared me, and I love it. See, I just laughed. <laughs> See? I just love Look at it. that. I knew it. Um, yeah. So I I think that would be the reason. But we talk about those things. So skifting is one, and another one was hanging and dangling, hanging and dangling, and that's when you go and you sit on the side of a dock and your penis dangles into the water the tide is high enough so that's called hanging and dangling so we have all those things on the podcast um you notice redding write a song about that i think so yeah, dangling yeah. on the dangling dock on the of dock. the bay watching these balls go <laughs> all the way that sounds a little dangerous too because sea life uh that's an easy Never mistake enough. for them to make i know several people ended up having a vasectomy Ooh happened to them because seaweed got tangled in their dangle as we call it on the show cashing in with tj miller dangling and tangling that a vasectomy because of seaweed <laughs> i would never go skinny dipping in a lake or anything you wouldn't the pool is fine but in a lake that just you're asking for trouble i could see that in a lake we mm. my father-in-law lives near a bay and we go in the bay we would skinny dip there, but recently there were a lot of minnows that were following oh us around, I think eating at our, and I wouldn't want to do that because I'm not very well endowed. And so if minnows went oh. at me hard, they start nip, uh, nipping I'd be at gone. You. Yeah, it'd be gone. Yeah, yeah, you don't want I'd to do have, that. Instead of a one piece downtown, I'd have a nothing at all. You're snapping turtles in lakes, which well, I can't snap imagine. Dick. That's what they used to call the me snap in college. Dick. <laughs> Because I had a snapping Old turtle snap dick. or a dick. It was yeah, yeah. terrible. I, I could want never have intercourse with women right because they <laughs> would say, you know, this was this was pre-Bush. So this is yeah, yeah. Her, and they'd say, you know, I could get hurt, you know. Yeah, yeah. No, no. They they, they need uh, to know that the, the, it's not a snap, yeah. a snap dick <laughs> that might hurt them. <laughs> no, snap not dick. a snap dick. And then there's other things like the, they, they have these uh, stories that I think are urban myth where you're taking a piss and a certain fish swims up your 
stream they sense the heat and they like swim upstream of your piss swim in your piss hole lay a bunch of eggs and then your dick like blows up with the caviar or something that's for sure medically accurate oh come now (laughs) not gonna do it not gonna do it not gonna do it oh Uh, jesus i do i do think though that that might be an urban legend that it would swim right? into your pee hole. I've never heard of it happen. I've heard of him swimming in. And I read like a story that's from a paper and then they go, oh, and it always happens somewhere that you can never verify it to a guy that, you know, and it's a picture of some guy. It's like, I swear I saw him last year. He floated off in a balloon or something. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. They just use yeah. the same uh, generic Zerg. pictures of. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it.